Welcome to It's All About Connie's Cooking. Today is Sunday and I decided that I wanted to make something um, homemade dinner. Um, we're not counting calories today so everything is unhealthy. <laughs> A lot of stuff. Um, I made some lima beans already. I had those made and cooked and um, they're in a the, uh, bowl. They're waiting. So that's on the side already. Um, but today is going to be about we are making the homemade biscuits. That's what we're making today. Because on a Sunday, I like for it to be back in the day like old school. You know, make everything homemade. You got your homemade beans on the stove, your rice, and you have biscuits, and some fried chicken. You know, you can't go wrong with that. <laughs> well, that's actually what I'm making today. But I'm not going to video all of that. Like I said, I already made the beans. Uh, I can show you those. I already made some nice fresh. These are baby lima beans. See, they just came out the pot and they're flavored. They have a lot of flavor to them. And they're good. These are the small ones. And normally, most of the time when you cook your bean, you see how they have that juice? I'm telling they smell so good. Mm. Okay. Just wanted to show you that. And most of the time when you make your beans, you want to, if you these are small, so the cooking process kind of was okay with the baby um, lima beans, so they weren't that bad. But if you're cooking regular beans, you want to soak them, um, and then that reduces the cooking time. But let's get back to what we're going to do with our biscuits, because y'all know I start talking. <laughs> okay, you see behind me, we have the ingredients that we're going to need. Four hour biscuit. Everybody uses, you know, different things. Here we have two and a half cup. We have two and a half teaspoon of baking powder. You can find it in the stores. This little baking powder right here. We have a half a teaspoon of salt. We have our little flour here, which we're gonna use on a cutting board for later. We have one room temperature egg. We have two cups of flour. We even have a grater. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this grater. And I know you, what is what is she going to use a grater for biscuit. But I'm going to show you. We're going to use that. And we have one large bowl. And we have three, four cups of milk. Um, you can use regular milk. Today I'm using 2% um, milk. But you can use uh, regular milk or buttermilk. If you want buttermilk biscuits, just switch out the milk. And we're going to get started. And also I want to tell you about the pan. Get you a non-stick pan if you don't have one. I'm using a Rachel Ray pan. It was non-sticks. It's very it was good investment. Um, so I'm using hat. But if you don't have a non-stick pan, just get some parchment paper in the store and line your pan. And then when you cut your biscuits, and that'll work just fine. Okay, let's get started on our biscuits. First, we're going to let's see. Okay, let's get this zoomed in. We're going to add in our two cups of shifted flour. When I say shift, just take the flour, just take your flour and shift and get out the little the flour, the little hard um, flour that's been in. And then you want air in your flour too. Makes it more fluffy. So we have two cups of flour. I can actually do it this way. Okay. We're adding in two cups of flour. And in this cup, we're going to not the cup, the bowl. We use the bowl. You don't have to, this option. I'm going to use one egg and our three fourth cups of milk. We're going to whisk that together. You know, I have you guys kind of close to me today. Okay. Now, in the middle of our flour, and we're going to use our hands a lot here. So, in the middle of our flour, you make like a little hole, like a little well here. See that? that. And this is where our dry ingredients are going to go. Oh, we're going to mix everything. So we're going to add in 
my baking powder, uh, half a teaspoon of salt, oh, I forgot one thing, how can I forget that, the main thing, oh my god, you guys, you make me forget the one thing, we forget, we've got our butter, we gotta have butter, we can use a half of, half of this, in our biscuits, and you want to, the reason I forgot it, because you want to make sure, you want to make sure your butter stay cold uh, when you're mixing in your butter into your flour, because you don't want to use room temperature butter. You want to make sure it's cold. That way it's better for biscuits, anything, anything doughy, even if you're making a crust. Let's put this on the side for a second. Now this is where the grater comes in. I know a lot of people cut up their butter. And they mix it in and you make sure it blends in very well. But I'm a grade my butter. Right about a half. This saves time. It saves you from cutting up your butter. Standing there mixing it. It's already distributed evenly. That's when we need to have music playing. You want me to sing for you? I sing. <laughs> okay, we use half of that and butter. See that? See? It's grated butter. Just like you would grate cheese. And just put it in. Just make sure it's cold. Yeah. Let's whisk that. Let's get that whiskey in. You know how when you have some butter cut up, let's see how that's whisking in and how easy that was to whisk that in. Because we grate it. We grate it our butter just like we would grate some cheese. Okay. Make sure that's finely. We got that salt, the half a teaspoon of salt, and baking powder. And the only thing I'm doing, I'm just combining everything, make sure it's distributed throughout the flour very well. Okay. Now we can go with our wet liquid. Add in our milk and egg. Okay. Now you just want to mix. Just want to mix it. Okay. Just mix that around like this. It's not, you know, it, it took me a while to get my biscuits together. Because I'm telling you, my biscuit was horrible. I used to make biscuits and they were so hard when they used to come out. I used to like, uh-uh. I used to make them, make sure no one was hard when I made them. Guess I had to throw them away. But honey, I mastered that. You can also add, and if you wanted to, Add in something. If your flour is a little sticky or under, you can always add in a little bit of flour, but you don't want to add in too much. Just get that right in there. There you go. It's coming along just fine. You want to make sure you roll it into a ball and add a little bit more flour. Just to make it easy. You're going around. Now, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and use my hands. There is no easy way out of it, honey. When you come down to making biscuits, you're going to have to, you, you got to use your tools. Best tools in the world is your hands. Make sure you don't have rings on, no wedding rings. A lot of germs in those rings. 
So just get your dough and just make sure you get it all the way around it. And form that into a ball. Okay. Now this is you can set this aside if you want. Maybe like 15 minutes and just put it in the bowl and let it rise some more. Or you can go ahead and just bake your biscuit. There you go. That's the bowl you want. Now you want to take a little bit of flour, put it out on your board. You don't need that much, just a little bit. You know, just spread it out like that. You can do this with hand. You can roll your dough out by hand or you can use a rolling pin. I'm going to wash my hand a little bit because I have like a lot of like for my hands to be extra fresh when I start over. I don't know about to dirty them back up. But that's just my little technique. That's what I do. Okay. Now we have a rolling pin here. Dry my hands. Now I'm going to put a little bit of flour on my rolling pin. Not much, just a little bit. That way it helps get rolled up. And just rub it around like that. You don't need that much flour. Well, you just tap the cutting board if you have a lot down here, but you shouldn't have a lot. Now we're going to take our dough. See, our dough is okay. It's not. You don't want to over knead it. And I mean take your knee. And I mean take your actual knee and, and knee it. <laughs> this is kneading. This is kneading when you do that. You don't want to overdo that because you can make your biscuits hard. I don't think I'm doing. I'm just putting on a little bit of this flour that's on the cutting board. Now. We have a round, perfect dough, and soft. All right, let's roll this out. If you need a little more flour on your cutting board, that's fine. Put some more up there. I mean, not your cutting board, sorry, on your rolling pin. Bring it back. And I'm the only, you see me layering like this, you see me folding it. And the only reason I'm folding that like that is because I want it to be, I'm making homemade layers. You know the layer that you get in the store? Just layer it like that. And fold it over again. Just about four times. Just be careful when you're adding in your flour. You don't want to add in too much. I just put a little bit there because it's kind of a little sticky. So you want to fold this like maybe four times. Okay. That's it. And if you like me, you want to make a mess. I make a mess with this. That's why I don't cook them all the time. <laughs> okay. Now, we have our bread, our biscuits. They're ready. Our biscuits are ready to get to cut out. They're ready to store. But I want to tell you this in case, you know, for the people that, my biscuit cutter, I have a biscuit cutter, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to go old school. You remember back in the day? Well, if you're my age and the older, you know, back in the day where we used, they didn't use um, biscuit cutters. Instead, they used a jar or a glass at the top of it. To me, I found that biscuit cutters make the biscuit too small, you know. But back in the day, they had a jar or they used it where, it was, you know, the biscuit was like round now. 
But I know you can get them a different size, but I'm just going, I'm going old school. Let me, let me do what I need to do. <laughs> okay. And the glass I'm going to use, this is why this glass is here. It's a clear glass. And if you have enough flour on your board, just take your glass and do it like that. You don't have to get any more flour. Cut down. And the flour just keeps the glass on. You see that? Look at that. That's nice. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Put it on your baking sheet. I'm going to put a little more flour, just a little, little bit more on my hand. I'm going to make sure. There we go. Yeah. Nice. See? Okay, let's try another one. Okay, let's see if we can get a corner out of here. We may not, may have to refold it. That's okay. We just redo it. Just redo it. Now you can just pat it out. Or you can roll it out with a rolling pin. I'm not going to use a rolling pin. I'm just going to pat it out. Nice biscuit. I'll place this right here. So you just keep folding until you can't get no more biscuits out of it. So, you know, my grandmother, she used to. Uh, the end, she'll take the end and just roll it. And we always thought that was a little special bit, and everybody wanted that bit. <laughs> Be careful, don't just don't need too much. Well, I know everybody loves to have some beans, fried uh, chicken, and some homemade biscuits. On a Sunday, or well, anytime, I'm assuming. See, see, we almost use all of this stuff. This recorded cutting board is going to look like a mess, but it's okay. Unless you're better than I am, then hey, if you are, then that's all right. I'm never too old to learn, but I'm always willing. Yeah, we ain't got another 50 out of that. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so far we have six biscuits. And this is the part I was telling you that was always left over. So, my grandma would just rub. She just fold it up like this. But I'm going to do a little up to date. I'm going to twist it. I'm going to put it at the end. Okay. Wash my hands. And you can keep an eye on those things. Okay, did you keep it down my biscuits? This <laughs> stuff out of the way. Okay. All right, we have our biscuits. See that homemade biscuits that didn't take off. Now, what you want to do? You can take an egg, or you can take a little bit of butter and brush the top. And you know I'm going to clean up afterwards, but I just feel like I need to do it while we're going along. I have a little plastic container here. You can take some butter or you can take an egg and just brush the top. 
I'm gonna melt a little bit of butter, about a tablespoon of butter. And I'm gonna brush the top of my biscuit. So that way they'll be buttery. They have a nice crunch to them. So you want to make sure your oven is on 425 degrees for about 15 minutes or it's a golden brown. And if you're not sure if they're brown, you just take a toothpick, stick in your biscuits, and if it comes out clean, just as you would do a cake, then that's fine. Yeah, I have some melted butter here, and I'm going to brush the top from my biscuits. I mean, these smell good already. <laughs> like I said, you can use buttermilk biscuit or regular, you know, biscuit. And make sure your flour is self rising flour. Or you don't have to because you use a baking powder, it'll help rise for you. Okay? One tablespoon. Accurate. That's when you know you're bad. <laughs> Okay. In the oven. This it goes. And 15 minutes. I will be back to show you what my homemade biscuits look like. My Sunday biscuits. <laughs> Thank you for watching.